Ever since I moved to America last year, I've been pretty open with sharing with you guys my shopping experience and all the products that I literally could not believe were real. This is creamy ranch. It's ranch whipped in a can. How is this real? So I guess you could whip this directly into your salad or you could whip this onto a cracker. If you ever thought how much do Americans love ranch? This much. We're a civilized country. So I've got some crackers here and I guess we're gonna whip some ranch onto the cracker. <gasps> how did this get here? UPS air cargo? Cause it's pressurized. I feel like I've ruined it. I was supposed to make this cute. Oh my God, why does it come like that? This is not practical. And also this is super grainy. What is wrong with this? I want to throw up. This is so wrong. The texture and the smell. I cannot believe I'm trying this. I'm gonna try the one with less. I'm sorry, Americans. I don't get it. Let's try this again. Maybe this is like less pressurized. I can't get this to work out. You see what I mean? It either comes in slow motion or... That. Maybe this is how much they want us to eat of this. Maybe if I pinch my nose. <laughs> Just no, no, no. What is wrong with this country? I'm gonna throw up in this video. The other option to eat this is supposed to be on a salad. So normal dressing, not in America. Straight to the trash, way too common. According to the instructions, one of the way to eat your flip whip is on a salad as actual dressing. So I wonder what the texture of this will be like. If you ever wondered how we eat salads in America, Oh, wait, let me just deflate my salad. It's giving pavlova. It's a chicken salad. You don't want to come get one of these. Good news is once you actually mix this for a long time, it kind of removes that whipped cream consistency, which might be what you're looking for, to be honest. You want to remove that consistency. It's not consistent. Okay, that's better. But if you're going to eat this like that, Just no, no. In America, we don't use pancake syrup. Instead, we use star glitter, cotton candy, flavored spread. And on the weekends, we tend to prefer a fruity cereal, confetti glitter spread. This is real. Why is pancake syrup not enough? Aunt Jemima is watching this like, am I a joke to you? I dedicated my whole life perfecting a pancake syrup for you to do this to me. This is horrifying. It's got chunks of stuff in it. No, like, I don't think you guys understand. When you open this, this is the glitter one. Cotton candy glitter, to be precise. You see all the chunks in it and you realize who's buying this. Not even me as a kid, I would want this. Are you kidding me? That is so nasty. That doesn't even look edible. I don't understand this. Maybe the fruity one is even worse. Because on top of it, the color is also horrifying. I'm having a panic attack. Obviously, we got some pancakes here to try this with. Let's do half and half. Half of the pancakes with the cotton candy stripe. <laughs> Not me naming this like a virus. And look at this. <laughs> what is that? I don't understand this. <gasps> I hate it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is horrifying. Why does he move like that? And then on this side, we're gonna do the fruity one. I don't possess quite the words to describe this. I mean, it does got stars in there. Is this stars on this one as well? I don't even know what that is. This one's a little more runny. Overall, I would give this a zero. Let's cut into it. Not this being so jelly that it's bouncing back. So I guess, there we go. That is our jelly-like spread. This does not look edible. This looks like if I eat it, I'm gonna feature on an episode of Grey's Anatomy. I don't even know how to eat this. <laughs> so this is the cotton candy. Is it? This like perfume. Bath and Body Works. Didn't realize they were in the business for spreads. It's towards no. I also don't get cotton candy. I mean, not that I care, honestly. This could give this could not give, that would be preferably. Not me spreading this like a taco. I just know that this has a cold following and they're all gonna come for me. This is the fruity one. 
Honestly, it tastes the same. It's so sweet. It's so wrong. <laughs> it's so jolly. It's so bouncy. No. So what other countries can I move to? This is dark chocolate peppermint flavored hummus. This is chickpeas flavored with chocolate and peppermint. I don't know what to think. I don't want to think. It smells like birthday cake. I'm so confused. Why does it look so smooth as well? How is this real? How? <laughs> How is this real? And if you're not impressed by that, trust me, America always manages to one-up every single item. I also found this at Walmart. This is a peppermint candy cane dip. Cream cheese, whipped cream, candy cane bits, great with cram crackers or vanilla wafers. I just want to say that we do not have free health insurance over here. We certainly are eating like we do have it. This looks rotten. I don't even know what to say other than let's try it. <laughs> We're gonna start with the chocolate hummus. So I'm gonna get the graham crackers. I'm gonna break it. I'm about to eat chickpeas with chocolate. I don't know how, but it's giving. I hate that I love it. I hate that this is a great idea. I literally can't even taste the chickpeas. This just tastes like a chocolate frosting. That's it. It was all marketing in the end. No, this one, that can taste correct, right? I just want to say that this candy cane peppermint was in the vegetable section. That just makes me laugh. Whenever I'm going to be sad, I'm just going to think about this random fact. It's got liquid in it. I don't even know how to describe this texture, but not optimal <laughs> seems to be fitting. Look at this. This is horrible. <laughs> Wait, it's a cultural shock at first. The texture, it's like jellified yogurt, but there's a peppermint buttery aftertaste. <laughs> I'm not even gonna say nice things about it. I do not want a single person going and buying this. The second bite gets progressively better. Hmm, how about that? Interesting. Controversial opinion. I think I like the pink one better, the peppermint candy cane dip. I've been in America for a while now. My flavor buds have adjusted, I think. This is the Americanif Americanification of Rafael Gomez. I'm gonna do the unthinkable. Can two wrongs make a right? What's that thing that they've done in Australia where they speed up an atom and then create a big bang explosion in a test tube? I think I've done it. No, no, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. These are Dr. Pepper flavored baked beans. Dr. Pepper sweet and a bit sassy baked beans made with brown sugar and the 23 flavors of Dr. Pepper. What was the reason? No heat, super sweet. So we don't even need to heat this up. This is just ready to eat. Let's enjoy some Dr. Pepper flavored baked beans. It's the brine made of Dr. Pepper. <laughs> so this is not supposed to be heated, just ready to eat. Oh, I am so confused. But also let's get every last drop in case it tastes nice. So Dr. Pepper baked beans, I think this wins. I think this wins the whole video. How is this real? Like if I told you about this, you would never believe that I'm actually being serious until you came to America. Let's give it a try. I'm so confused. I like it. <laughs> it's in there, the Dr. Pepper 23 spices. They're all in there and you can taste every single one of them. And a whole lot of sugar. This is basically candy. I grew up in England eating baked beans every day on toast. So my flavor profile is very adapted to any kind of baked bean. This is a good baked bean. <laughs> I hate that I like this. All this shininess, it's straight up sugar. This is straight up Imagine baked beans on maple syrup with your whole spice cupboard, like all the spices. Savory, sweet, it doesn't matter. They're all in there. I hate that I like it. In Europe and the rest of the world, we eat Skittles. Skittles is like a relatively popular candy in so many countries. In America, eating Skittles is a thing of the past. In America, we drink Skittles. <laughs> This is how to make Skittles flavored water. 
30 sticks of artificially flavored low calorie drink mix. These are little drinks of each flavor for each color of Skittles. <sighs> what is this country? So we're doing one strawberry, one grape, one orange and one green apple. This is like the science experiment that no one asked for. Also, why is the water green? Oh wait, I'm colorblind, but mm. it is convenient. You literally just open the little packs and you put it in your water. And there you go. Let's make Skittle juice. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. I cannot believe this is actually real. This is the grape flavor. Wow, the green apple. And this is strawberry. What in the murky, cloudy water? What in the lake water is going on here? <laughs> also, me fighting the intrusive thoughts to combine all of them in one drink. You know I want to do it. I probably have a spoon for this. This reminds me of like drinking medicine. You know when you were little and your mom gave you like vitamin C? It smells like it, it looks like it, and it certainly is acting like it. Skittle said, what flavors do you guys want us to make? And people said, yes. I'm going to start with the orange one. Straight up delicious. 10 out of 10. That literally tastes better than orange juice. I want to buy this from now on. It's so sweet, but it's delicious. So this is grape. <laughs> no crazy about that. I don't get grape flavored things. They don't exist much outside of America. Outside of America, a grape flavored juice is called wine. That's, that's it. <laughs> I haven't acquired the taste for grape yet. As we develop more episodes for this series, you will see it happen. Apple? That is really good. It also could be a little bit more concentrated, so I don't know if I didn't mix it properly, so let's mix it a little bit better. Why is it murky? <laughs> that is so delicious. I love this one and this one the most, but obviously it could still be a tie with the strawberry one. This sounds like something that I would come up with when I was six years old. That is so good. Controversial opinion, these would be amazing cocktails. Like imagine just like, what do you put in a cocktail? Vodka, tequila. I came here to judge and I leave thirsty for more. Jesus, take the wheel and drive us off a cliff. These are microwave fries ready in four minutes. That's how I'm feeling. Yes, we also have frozen food in Europe. Like we have freezers. We have a whole freezer section in the supermarket. Now I've never seen fries cooked in the microwave. My parents would be shocked at this. They would be like, you're flying home right now. <laughs> it's got instructions on the back, but it's pretty self-explanatory. And it promises that this will be crispy, even though it's microwavable. I've never made anything crispy in the microwave, so we'll find out. Are the fries in here? Oh! <gasps> That is a crime. I know economy is bad, but a black piece of whatever this is, a quarter of a potato. This is not even an Idaho potato. This is a potato from Alaska. So we're supposed to tear this off completely. Well, I wish I didn't, because I'd never want to see that I was scammed. Oh wait, you're supposed to spread them out into one layer. Just put them in the oven, air fryer. So we're supposed to put this back on, but this time around, squish it. So this is supposed to be like flat. This is so silly. Whoever created this was in a silly, goofy mood. So we're gonna microwave this for four minutes. Can you believe not only they invented microwave fries, but they invented the contraption for it. The American dream. What exactly has happened here? Did it nearly explode? Maybe. Second of all, it smells like dirt. My whole house smells of dirt. I know potatoes come from dirt, but stop being logical. So let's open it. <laughs> they look the same as they did when they were frozen. Let's see if they're crispy. Spoiler alert, they're not. Wait, they're not not crispy. <laughs> okay, let's do an ASMR. So there's no way I would lie about this. They're crispy. It's a strange artificial crispy. It's like if crispiness had just been invented yesterday and it wasn't quite perfected yet. I made myself laugh. It doesn't happen very often. I was a hater. It actually tastes all right. We just need more. This is not an enough 
quantity. I do think this costs one dollar, so a win is a win. They also go sogging about 17 seconds. And don't even get me started on the flavors of ice cream that American produces. In the previous video, we tried the Kraft mac and cheese ice cream. This is somehow worse. <laughs> this is a champagne flavored French ice cream. There is a whole category of food items in America that it's basically things that are kind of sold in a European way, like a French ice cream or like an Italian bread or something. And then it's ingredients that honestly, I mean, I've traveled a lot in Europe. It doesn't exist. It's just an American creation. A bored American created it. This falls into that category. Champagne flavored ice cream. I want to know how this came about. Nothing makes us happier than five, four, three, two, one. Champagne ice cream. I could deal with all the countdown. I don't know if this is made with alcohol or if it's just like artificial champagne flavor, but we are here to find exactly that. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What have I done? I just wanted a perfect scoop. Okay, I think we got the perfect scoop somehow. We got there. This is champagne ice cream. Thank you, America. Why does it look like vegetable shortening? Wow, this is when I've been here for so long that I say vegetable shortening instead of butter. I have a fork, so I'm gonna eat my ice cream with a fork. It looks pretty boring. It's just plain, it just looks like vanilla ice cream. That tastes like champagne. Disgusting. <laughs> I'm not even gonna put this back in the freezer. I do not understand. I don't get it, America. I am confused. I am horrified. I am putting this back where it came from. Hell. I wish you'd seen my reaction at the supermarket to finding out that in America, you can make cereal using water. <laughs> this is cereal where you're supposed to add water and it creates milk. <laughs> It also says on here, create real milk. I'm gonna go on and say it's not <laughs> real milk. These are called Insta Balls. It is cereal where you add water to it and it literally becomes like a bowl of cereal. Take it on the go on a rainy day and just open it up and hold it. On a really sad day, you could cry into it. The options are endless. Add half a cup of cold water to the line and there's a little line here. And that is it. That is all you need to know about the product. You add water and it becomes milk. Let's try it out. Let's open it up. So I guess the milk will be like a powder. I don't even want to know. Do I want to know? <gasps> oh, I don't want to know. It looks like Parmesan. <laughs> Not the Parmesan or Reggiano flavored water. So let me open this one as well. So I'm going to add the water. I'm going to try to show you, but this is kind of difficult. No, adding water to cereal. This is a crime. Oh, the sound is so wrong. Okay, so that's about it. Right now, it looks like water. Do you see? That literally just looks like water. The water is going murky. So we're gonna mix it and hopefully this will become... Oh, it looks like Parmesan. <laughs> Why is it going dry and lumpy? Okay, so now it's kind of milky in color. There's a lot of chunks of milk. It kind of looks like expired milk. You know when milk goes like grainy? It smells like Fruit Loops. So let's try the cereal with the milk. It's definitely soggier than if I made this with like just fresh milk. It goes soggy really, really quick. But I will say the milk, it's milking. <laughs> it just tastes like milk, honestly. Good soup. <laughs> it is um, a slightly soggier bowl of cereal. If you're on the go, I can see how this would be useful. If you want to watch the world crash and burn in front of your own very eyes, by any means, buy this. <laughs> so let's try the cornflakes one. Okay, I'm going to use the correct amount of water, which is exactly this. Oh, look at the chunks. I don't have the stomach to watch this. Me finding out about powdered milk in 2023. The milk is the least of my problems. I just think the cereal is a little bit too soggy. That is why I personally wouldn't buy this, but I would probably buy this and keep this in my car. This would be amazing for zombie apocalypse, earthquake, tornado. So a win is a win. <laughs> I hate to repeat myself, but 
A win is a win. The best part, you can have a refreshing glass of water right after. It's right there. You've probably heard of Fruit Loop cereal. Now, let me introduce to you the latest invention in the land of the free. Fruit Loop gummies. It looks like Fruit Loops, except instead of crunchy, it is literally gummies. <laughs> it's literally the exact same colors as Fruit Loops, but it's almost, it's bizarre to look at this. It does not look right, it does not look normal. Wait, does this smell like Fruit Loops as well? It says naturally flavored, so probably not. It kind of smells like Fruit Loops. Should we do a combination of all four? <laughs> Wait, is there more than four? Oh, I hate being colorblind. Is this one green? Wait, there's more than four? Should we try all of them at the same time? Just when you thought that corporate America's run out of ideas? Surprise. It does have that hint of fruity, fresh laundry that Fruit Loops traditionally has. Just in a whole new consistency. I almost wish they were softer, something to it, because they're very sturdy, solid gummies. Honestly, can't say this was a win. It wasn't a sleigh. It was about a quarter of a sleigh, which honestly is not good enough for me. They somehow managed to put the Fruit Loops flavored into gummies, and for that alone, they probably deserve the Nobel Prize, so... This whole supermarket aisle is insane. It is the coffee creamers. There were so many to pick from to show you how insane they are, but I chose a cinnamon churro flavored coffee creamer because you've always wanted your coffee to taste like churros. Of course, anything else would be stupid. My personal favorite, and I think this is probably gonna win the product of the year. This is Rice Krispie Treats flavored coffee because I've always wanted my coffee to taste like puffed up rice and marshmallow. <laughs> this is great. Let's do it. I'm gonna prepare my coffee the way that I've seen American people prepare coffee when I go to their houses. People here love, I don't think it's a coffee concentrate, but it's like a cold brew kind of situation. Personally, for me, my favorite way of having coffee is an espresso and then water and then milk. Here, I'm preparing it the American way. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't use coffee creamer. I use milk, so I don't know how much you're supposed to use. Okay, let's say we use this amount of coffee, which seems about right. I've never been more excited to use anything other than the Rice Krispie Treat Creamer, but we're gonna start with the churro one. Is the cinnamon churro going to be cinnamon churro colored? No, it's white. Okay, I'm gonna stop when this reaches like a latte kind of color. I think that's about how much I would like of it. Don't judge me. And then for the Rice Krispie Treats, About this much as well. I don't think I went too crazy with it. So let's smell it. Let's start with the... It just smells artificial. It literally says on here, artificially flavored. Not me thinking they would blend a whole churro into this. And this one... They smell the same. That is disappointing. Maybe they'll taste different. So cinnamon churro... Surprisingly realistic. The smell of it, very artificial. The flavor tastes like churro. It tastes like cinnamon coated churros. A lot of cinnamon in it. It is strangely accurate. Interesting. Now I'm kind of scared of the Rice Krispie Treats one. This one kind of reminds me of medicine, cough syrup, Marshmallow. This one is very artificial. I mean, it's literally called Rice Krispie Treats. <laughs> Imagine buying this and complaining that it tastes artificial. It takes one brain cell and it's working very hard to get this content out. This one, I honestly really enjoy this. This stuff makes it taste like Starbucks. I mean, no offense to Starbucks, but why would I go and pay so much money when I can make this at home for like 5% of the price? And this is no shade, just facts. This is really good. I really like the cinnamon churro. If you try anything, try this one. This one, like a lot of the products in this video and a lot of the products that corporate America creates, it's a gimmick. This will be here, people will buy it the way that I did, and then it will stop existing. This, this one's forever. Hashtag cinnamon churro forever. <laughs> Cringe. <gasps> I love it. Let me introduce to you Crunch, which is supposed to be ketchup and ranch. If that didn't horrify you, let me 
introduce to you what I think is the worst name for a product ever. This is Heinz Mayo Must. These are products that are supposed to be a combination of two different sauces. So this one being ketchup and ranch and this one being mayo and mustard. Nobody asked for this. No single person. I think they're gonna taste probably as horrible as they sound. No offense. There's even more varieties to this. Like where they mix two different sauces. This is so popular in America that I literally could not find it anywhere. I went to like three different supermarkets. I was trying to find it online. I found these two. We got our microwave fries, so we gotta try it, I guess. <laughs> so this is crunch, ketchup and ranch. I wonder what crunch is like. Mayo must. Oh, this one is rot. If you told me this was like a garlic mayo kind of thing and this was like a egg custard dessert, I would be like delicious. But when you told me this is crunch and mayo must, let's start with the crunch. It tastes like ranch and ketchup. Honestly, I could have made this myself. <laughs> There's nothing groundbreaking about this. I kind of like it. It's weirdly working for me didn't expect that not as bad as the name suggests <sighs> let's dip the fries in the mayo must <laughs> maybe i kind of like it <laughs> I hate that I like both of them. Is America ahead of the time? These honestly can be a thing internationally. It tastes amazing. <laughs> now we're just gonna find stock of the other six because I need to try the full range now. The plot thickens. And also, I've really grown to enjoy a microwave fry. Twix Shakers Seasoning Blend. This is literally seasoning made out of Twix. So many ways to die. Truly. Twix Shaker Seasoning Blend is a delicious combination of chocolate, caramel, and cookie flavors. Okay, they might have convinced me. Shake on ice cream, yogurt, popcorn, cakes, fruit. Fruit? Nobody's got fruit in the fridge if they bought this. <laughs> it's literally exactly the way that like salt and pepper comes. The different holes for different types of appetites. <laughs> I think they also make these in a couple more varieties, but honestly one wasn't enough. Honestly, it smells like cocoa powder mix. It does not smell like Twix. I know they really want it, but it just doesn't. But it might taste like it. I'm using my breakfast yogurt for this. I'm opening it for this. So if this is gonna disappoint, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm not gonna use a whole lot, just a tiny little bit because corporate America has done us dirty a couple of times. This is just some Greek yogurt. Usually I add chocolate powder, something like that to it. So this is something that I enjoy. So if this is good, I might enjoy it. Nothing like a nutritional healthy breakfast with a sprinkle of Twix seasoning. <laughs> Yo, let's go a little bit. It's the weekend. Is it the weekend? It's Monday, literally Monday. Let's try it. I love American gastronomy. Damn it, it's delicious. Does it taste like Twix though? I'm not sure. Sugar and chocolate. This tastes nothing like Twix. If you love sugar and chocolate, you will enjoy it. Maybe we should try different varieties for the next one. I know they make like 10 of these, really making my wallet suffer. Six months ago, I didn't even know what a nutty body was. I would have probably thought a nutty body was something completely different. But six months later, I am buying a Nutty Body cereal. So there's these really popular cakes in America, which I think they're like a chocolate wafer. They're not cakes actually, and it's chocolate and peanut butter flavor. And when I say popular, they're very, very popular to the point where they transformed it into cereal. So this is supposed to be chocolate and peanut butter flavor. And one thing about when people transform cakes into cereal, I almost never, I don't think it lives up to the expectation. I always think it looks boring. And this one, it looks kind of boring. Like, it kind of looks like dog food. I don't want to be offensive, but like, but maybe it smells like chocolate peanut butter. Wow, I might be wrong. I might eat up every single board that I said. Ooh, they're like light. Do you see that? They're super light. This might be easy on the roof of my mouth and I've been eating a lot of crunchy food, so this might be what I need. We call this in America, healthcare, healthcare. Try it. It's gonna be good. It's so light. 
that literally it's exactly the same as the wafers. This is amazing. Wow. That's probably the best cereal of all time. And the flavor of peanut butter chocolate kind of goes into the milk. A blessing today. Thank you, little Debbies. I have no idea what technology they possess, but they managed to make each cereal. Once it touches the milk, it becomes this. It's literally like this. If I had my eyes closed, I would be eating the actual wafer, except it looks nothing like it. Mind blowing. I've never experienced a texture quite like it, and I will be experiencing it for the next five minutes. And I've still got a bag full of products that I found in American supermarkets that I honestly cannot believe these are real things. If you want to watch another episode of these, you know what to do. Don't forget to give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on. It's annoying that I have to ask you, but it helps me planning out more episodes this series. So thank you to those of you who subscribe. I honestly, like I mean it from the bottom of my heart. You literally make this possible. There's a lot of casual watches, but the subscribers. So anyways, I hope you enjoy this. This is so much fun. I just, I would do this for hours and hours. In fact, I have, but I just have so many products that I think I just need to do a sequel to this. So if you want to watch it, please let me know in the comment section. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.